on again. Just to get the cows in. Just walk off down there, in come the colostrum girls. I don't think she's going anywhere. Love them here. Hey, hey, other side, please, please. Good girls. Island behind the heifer. What else has got really? Nice and trim tails. Just waiting on these two to finish. And then this row can go. And we can go and enjoy the rain and go pick up some calves, eh, Dad? Yeah, great fun. Great fun for the rain. <laughs> You're hungry, girl. Clean up for Oh, yeah. We're just washing everything up. We've just put a bomb through and a root cycle. So we're not in here when the bomb went through. Uh, yes, yeah, not allowed in here when that um, alkaline acid go, alkaline hypo goes through. But cold root's gone through. Good girl. Dallas is drawing calves fire. Our granddad and Mackenzie pushed the calves through. Yeah. Yeah. Push it, Mackenzie. Push it. Push it. Which time are we going through next, Tessa? Little calves, first time in the big pen. <laughs> there you go, zoom zoom. They're into the hay as well, and into the meal by looking at the other one. That's good. Just a sort of the pens again. Big shuffle. All these are coming through into here, and that's a baby pen. There's all our bobby calves. Yuggy, 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 yuggy. Good girl. Good girl. Hello, darling. You're a good girl. Only five today. One to go. That's where the heifers are going today. Very good. And then over here is the colostrum girls. It looks like they've got a few more days left in there. And behind them is the milking girls. So get through that pretty quick. But still a bit of grass left behind them. Cosmic spreader. We haven't even checked the drain yet. Look at it. Car Frangler, there's four of them right there. Fun. Calves everywhere. Nine calves today. So we'll take up all nine. We're going to leave the tenth one down here because he's only just calved. And he's a nice little girl. So. Alright, let's get these girls in. Everybody. Yeah. Kids are in there with the carvies. This is five to go. I started off running. We got one out while I was running, but uh, not this one. It's just a bit crazy. So. I'm on the motorbike. Dad's on the motorbike. Motorbikes don't get tired. Just wait. It's a bit crazy that one. Awesome. Alright, five to go. Four to go. We changed our mind. Easy does it, Tessa. Yep. We changed our mind. We ended up grabbing that little one there that was in the paddock because she was struggling to feed her with her teeth so low that's her up there. Her tits are quite low, so it's unfortunate. That's all right. It's going to happen. So we'll feed the little carvey up the front. I mean, see her teeth just quite low down her, um, down her back there. The little calf was struggling to get under there and have a drink. Just taking the carving girls past the milky girls. Nice grass in there, they'll be happy. And then we'll chuck these with the colostrum girls. And he's just talking to Dad as he's bringing the heifers up over here. We've got one calf down there to pick up. I don't know if you remember from last year, but if you remember Shadow, welcome back to the herd, Shadow. She's not very nice. She always tries to kick you when you try to cup her. So, yes, yeah, Shadow, naughty. Yeah, 
there, Paddock. Come on, go Shadow. Uh, Hello, friendly clogs. Come on. Come on, come on girls. That's a good 10 cows added. And one heifer to add. Dad's just gonna go get her, and I'll go grab the little coffee. Taking up the heifer. Dad's bringing up the little calf. By the look of it, he went right back to the paddock. Oh, there's some heifers that are going to calve. She is very close. Oh, I can see about five that are going to calve. But, hey, remember those two, cows, those two heifers at the start? They held on for a good two weeks. <laughs> well, well, we'll get to it. We'll just take this girl up, tag her, and then chuck her with a colostrum. Gave her a nice tag. Dad's just checking for mastitis back there. Any mastitis? Debatable? Possible? No, no mass titus? That's good. That was our little heifer one, uh, heifer's calf, little bull. Tess is just feeding that one. Grab the door, right? Tess is just feeding the little uh, one that we got from down the back. There she goes. We'll walk behind her because remember last time. <laughs> but she'll follow her all the way. Take the little calf, put him in the red sheds, and she can get milk tonight in the classroom model. Yep, good day today. We're all in the side to side. But um, yeah, 12 cows and calves today. That'll be us done for this morning. With that, I'll see you all at checking the cows tonight. Good morning, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Hickabuckle. Thank you. There's a calf here. Come from in here. Number 260s. So there's another calvey. To add to the total, makes it 13 today. Join the mob, little coffee. All right. Let's go see how many cows we got down there at the moment. <laughs> That's filled up quick over the last few days. Good chickies. Off down the farm. Heaven is pretty quiet. No one carved yet. Cows are looking pretty quiet in here too. We just got a. Yeah, where's that one that's carved? Get it wrong very often. It's easy to do. Dad's just dropped me in the halfway point. He's going to go back and get those girls. So there's no calves down there. We did find our possible one that had calved. So it's, if she doesn't carve tonight, she's definitely had that calf that we got in this morning so then we can uh, we'll just bring her up tomorrow she'll be all right she's not leaking milk or anything we would have brought her up if she was running milk or something like that the places you get to stand girl you've got a perfectly good paddock going standing and you're going standing in the corner Jeez, people. yeah go out to the paddock it's good though you're actually not far from carving either <laughs> here's our girls colostrum ladies get another five come out of here today and go and join the milkers. Good girl. 1863, she's today. Quite a good girl. Coming in. Milkers getting ready to go. Got our milkers here. Stay as usual. Our nice milk bags going to the dairy factory. That's in there. Best milk on the farm. <laughs> I also get it out of there, out of the full stock. We don't want to drink of it from our milkers. That's why we leave them in. That's to get all that colostrum. And um, a bit of that chemical residue off down their system. But mainly get the colostrum out because there shouldn't be any penicillin in them by then. Just the colostrum. Now this is our colostrum milk here. That's why we split the herd in two. The milkers. Then the ones that milk now go in the back because that's the milk we sent to the dairy factory. This milk here, that gets picked up by the milkman which goes to feed calves, pigs other various animals that drink milk, but it's also the most rich in nutrients. Doesn't taste very good, it's a little bit sour. But it is the most rich in nutrients, that's why we feed our cows with it, because that's the best thing for them. But that's why we have our blossom hurt, we get that stuff for our calves. But when we start getting beaten because we get too many calves, we start taking from these drums. And I need to get another drum. That's when they get older, we start pulling from these drums and mixing it in with that uh, new stuff from the, from the herd. 
Because eventually we'll get to the point where there won't be as many colostrum cows, therefore we won't get as much colostrum milk. That's why we get a little bit of reserve. And eventually it gets to the point where we run out of this stuff, by then we just start growing from the back, and that's for the oldest calves because they don't need those uh, that nutrients, that good bacteria, and those antibodies that are in this colostrum to help them get going and really need that milk. That, they get them growing, eh? Get them pulled that milk. Alright, let's keep a look at it. One last thing I want to mention. This is our penicillin milk. That's from cows that have had penicillin. We do not feed our calves our until they get older. The oldest ones can have that, but we don't feed our young calves, our calves that are possibly going bobby lorry or any other animal until the calves are outside so that we know those that the milk is only for them. That milk is not good because uh, it's got all that penicillin in it and if we feed that to our calves they decide to go on the bobby lorry we decide to put those on the bobby lorry we can get some massive fines and that's not what we want now we're on to the last row you guys milk well today off we go girls take your time no point in rushing us through so carry over had the two twins the twin here looks quite well actually considering she milked or she carved about six weeks ago Probably nearly seven weeks ago now. Eight weeks ago now, sorry. Just waiting on these girls to finish. What do we got? 12 feeder and the five feeder. You looking after your ones? Uh, yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, don't be silly. You gotta let them drink. Yuck. Just for the and dad just got back in time to help with the colostrum girls. Hey, what? Last year I was having to wait quite a bit because the old cups used to take quite a bit to milk them out a little bit longer but these ones are quite quick now. It's a lot better. Still a bit sore that girl. Good girl. We decided to catch her. We'll give her a big jam of angiomycin tonight. That'll hopefully help her. Otherwise, it's not looking good for her. Yep, and anti-inflammatory. Oh, lift this up, switch over, this is the colostrum, girls, put them there for now, and that's onto the colostrum girls. No chance of the milk going into the vat now, we'll go straight through there, and into this milk. See, bubbles, dump it in there for both. From their tails, which oh, is a little bit wobbly as you can see. Just a little bit of milk fever. That'll, Dad said he's going to give her a bag and up the rows tonight. So, as you can see, the long tails are our new girls, and short tails are the girls that have already been in the costume. Come on, come on, girl, up you go. Come on. The first row of uh, colostrum girls on it. You're right, Shadow. Stormy Shadow at the moment. Tried to kick Dad, trying to cup her up, and, and whoops a daisy, she fell over. That was, was well, I hope it should fall over. Just, we'll get these girls milk and get them out of the way, and then she can um, get up and, well, we'll stay there and make it a lot easier if she stays there and Dad can treat her. The doses we gave to everybody, unfortunately, we didn't have any um, angiomycin, but we did have something else. An intracillin, which is for foot rot and infection. So hopefully that'll do the job for their little heifer. We're just going to let these girls go out and around because they've been in there long enough. And we're just going to treat that uh, 172 who's down. That little heifer there, 267. Got it treated. That makes six of today's 13. Hold on, we can't get everybody in. 13 today. Six of them all on feeding. Pretty good. We sorted out our five we wanted. The last one just heading down there. And the rest of them are probably 
just moseying down past behind the foot tank. There we go. Good girl. They're nice, looking good. There's a few girls with red butts. That's the ones that are under treatment. Oh, all, actually, have, all of them have been treated. Everyone has done their treatment they needed. Except for 267, we'll be watching her. We'll be keeping an eye on you, down. Come on, down. She, uh, we just think she's got an um, infection internally. So we'll keep an eye on her. <laughs> See you in the morning. See you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, just shot off to go get the cows in. We'll get the cow shed ready. And put full on the pit there. We had 15 mils last night, so not too bad. But it did seem like a lot more the amount of uh, rain that fell last night. It sounded a lot heavier. Sorry I had to remove you all from that spot there, but uh, I'm going to show you something. Look at the milk. So full this morning. It uh, milk drifts everywhere. Milk leaking out of the, the cows and just waiting for these girls to finish. They're tight. Jeepers are they tight. Their heifers are quite tight as well. These girls come in and just tight as. There's Mousy. Didn't act up today. Good girl. Nice and tight. Ooh. Good girls. Good girls. That'll be here. Soon he's just shifting the fences. What are you two up to? Yeah. <laughs> Here comes the rest of the colostrums. It's all right. They head into their paddock. Come on, girls. Run milked and ready to go. Unfortunately, we had one we had to retreat because she's got a bit of infection again. There she's somewhere in that way. Good girl. Perfect. Tessa, Mackenzie, and Dallas are over there feeding the carvies. They're into it. Right, let's get washed up and we'll go see how things are going. She's, she's um, getting better. Just jump the fence. She's going to put the cause mag on. And we've got the girls going. It's actually very quiet now. Doesn't look like anyone. We're sort of expecting that with the big day we had yesterday. Tessa, Mackenzie, and Dallas are over there. Yeah. Yeah. She's amazing getting in front of that thing. Now he's working with the wind. The wind's coming from behind us and going down the paddock. That's why he's going that way. <laughs> the wheel's gone! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the things you think they've never been fed. What's that, Dad? I've gone. I've gone. Five legged. <laughs> Lost the leg. Lost the leg. Fantastic, they're looking good. It's, they're vastly decreasing in numbers. We got we left a little heifer calf over there, 47, with their mum. And we'll just uh, head on up and go check on the heifers because there's one in there, Dad said. Hey, yeah, we've got the new kids in here. No calves in the back today. We left our one that carved this morning down there because it's pretty fresh. Granddad and Mummy are on their way up. So. Right? 
heat up. Yeah. And nice and dry in here, we got a roof. Yeah. Making up the one cow, we caught up the mummy. Granddad and went and took care of the carryovers. Got a wheel on the front, we left the causeway spreader down there. It's still partially a sledge on one side, so we'll just use that tomorrow. Good work, everybody. Good work. She's the last one over there. Got heifer though, got a little calfy. Bull, sorry, bull calfy. Go grab her out. Surprisingly well. All the girls stayed over there. We got her out. This gateway. Good having two gateways sometimes. Fuck it, you do it. Bastard. You do it. <laughs> Oh, gave me a shock. No, I didn't. He gave me a shock. Scared me. I don't know if you noticed, but yesterday we had a calf extra yesterday because we had to go grab him from the paddock. Um, not with the girl, with the girl, but out with the colostrum girls. So we noticed we have one extra calf, which means that there's a cow still down there. And uh, we got her in now. She's only in there because I needed the heifer, needed a friend to come in with. These kids have got my number for the little heifer. Heifer 12. What do we got, Dallas? What number? 35. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Unloaded. And that's us done for this morning. See you all up walking tonight. Good afternoon, everybody. So today we said 2,180 litres. Not too bad. Because that, we're just off to go get the cows in. Oh, let's go check the cows in the head. Got a little tag as well. Hey. Oh. Get back and get to Looking good. Good to see they're not at this gateway. So this is their last day in this paddock. And Dad's gonna, then we're going to go put them into a uh, paddock where the mookas are coming from. Number eight down there. Good girls. Fill off some ladies. Let's get to moving. What a two. It's our cow pit for today. Thank you. Nice cow. You need to be a good milker, I believe. Uh, oh, Rostrum's out there. Last the cow still on the second half of the circle. That's good. She was treated for mastitis, but now yeah, she's all good, aren't she? 32. War beast used to call her because when she was a heifer. Oh, she was, she was close to going on a truck, I tell you. Truck because she was too, uh, very evil. Try and kick her all the time, but much better now that she's four years old. Why are there so many cows there? What do you mean, in here? Oh, out there. Oh, there's a big cow there. Someone said there's a big cow there. Oh, there's a big cow there. We already know who the three are that are meant to be out there, so we'll sort them out. Well, Dad, we'll, we'll keep milking. And that's row number four started. We're marching into the into the 60s now for the milking girls. In a couple of days, we'll be actually pushing into the fifth row. Getting up to 100. And we sorted them. There's three in there now. Easy as. Yeah, we're just going to get these girls in and... Put it back in the paddock and milk these colostrums. Yeah, this is a nice creamy colostrum milk. And see you girls. That we're done for today. Jessica and Mackenzie and Dallas are all just finished feeding, so like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you. The meal there, Dallas. <laughs>
passengers today again another two Nelson McKenzie and Jeffrey White and Ash. Good. Be a good day. A lot of helpers. And Jordan's gonna be uh, feeding out silage today. Maybe. We'll see what happens. And for the new paddock that the cows are gonna go into the calving cows that is. Also shifting the heifers into their new paddock, which is the paddock where the cows were um, the milking cows were yesterday. Good, hello, good, good. Mackenzie and Eddie. Hello. Yes, sir. And of course, there's Dallas and the red out there, and whites and the yellow. And Jordan, the great effort. Is Eddie good? Teaching. Teaching the next generation. Hello. Is the bat warm or cold? Super cold. Keeps the look good, eh? What's this look for? Don't drink it, eh? You could drink it. It's coming, smoke. It's cold. That's for our milk. Keeps it nice and cool. Stops it from overheating. Oh, you bring the kids down. <laughs> Bye bye! <laughs> and Jordan's gonna bring down three bales of silage with him to feed the girls in each break. I think it's two per break today. Drop them down a bale. Happy in there. there. A lot of grass, but that thing first break's always the biggest. And of course, need to stop the silage. There he goes without a tyre. Right, we'll let these girls through. It only has one tire. <laughs> if it was the other tire, it would have worked. That's, that's actually true. That's true. Right, we'll let these girls through. She looks to stay with their cars for now. Good girls. On their way through. I think you're 264's little car. Ah, fast, she's fast. That's the old girl, 76. At the start of the season, she's trying to take everyone's car. As you'll see, she's a little bit woozy. Yep, we'll give her a bag at the cash in. Well, yep. Good girls. Just having a drive through them. We got Jersey, looks like she's on the job. This girl here's process a carving. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we got all the gunk on the back. It's got telltale signs of it. Yeah, coffee on the left. You'll be uh, pushing against the gut. You'll be ready to come out. Yep, Jordan's feeding out the silage. Feed the silage out. And uh, we're heading up. Go check on the heifers and shift them to their new pad. <laughs> Arrow, you run all the way down, puppy. It's a lot of close girls. Maybe about five or six could go today. Got the cause of spread there. Jordan's going to bring that up when he comes up. Yeah. We're heading up. Take these girls up. Three day acting, and Dad's one's fast acting. Yeah, mine's got a um, metal bullet, one's glue. Yeah, glucose. Yep. Yeah. 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 This one's mainly for bag. <laughs> mainly bag. So that one mainly aims for ketosis and milk fever. This one 
It's just purely monk fever. Is it dead? I like the brown bag because it covers absolutely everything. That's right, that's right. You can go over the over the ribs with the brown bag as well, but vein is more effective and faster acting. She'll be up by the probably midday. Around midday. Way to know why you're not how you know you're not too deep with the under the skin. You can actually move it around. If you're too deep, you won't be able to move that needle around. Push it down. Like so. Yeah, so we can squeeze it in as we say. Dad's one goes in nice and slow because he doesn't want to um, let it go through to the heart too fast. Yep. Good going, Dad. I'm all done. <laughs> That's good though. Nice and slow. Right here. Still the job, starting to work. She's old too, she's 13. Yep, perfect. Give it a rub, and done, just like that. Well, that's us for this morning, stubborn old girl. We'll leave you to it. I'll come back down at midday see how she's doing if she's up and also come down and check to see if our cows have calves that we're looking at out there all right with that it's us for this morning see you all at midday hey everybody happy midday everybody jordan's uh my brother is going to come back and fix this up as you said i was riding on here for a long time so he's going to get to that and fix that up take this off put new bearing on new tire uh, tire back on right, we've got our hip lifters just in case that cow's down we're going down to go and check her right, get up unsuccessfully but that's all right so we got the hip lifters for we'll go check the cows the heifers are good all the other mobs of cows down there are good we'll check to see if these girls have carved any of those if everyone's still in one piece all right we'll go get the tractor Carved up. Hopefully, a little girl from you would be nice. And we'll give her a nice tag. You want to see? Yeah. Little boy, I think. Little boy. Fuck up, I know something. I preferred a little girl out of you. But oh well. Carry on, keep looking. See how the girl see if she's carved yet. Thank you, Jesus. That's your little bull. Would have preferred a little girl, but oh well. That. Let's go get the tractor. Stand old, uh, stand old 76 up in her paddock, Alvin Gill. You're eight now. Born in 2016. Really, girl? I had to get the tractor and get it in position, and then as I was grabbing the hip lifters, you decided to stand up. Oh well, makes my job easier. We'll leave the hip lifters down here with this tractor. Just here, beside the tire. And um, just in case she goes down again. Oh yeah, with that. I'll <laughs> see you all at Milking tonight. And off he goes. He's off to go get the girls in. There's the milking herd. We just checked the cows and the heifers. Still the same two had carved down to the cows. Nothing at the heifers yet. Beautiful afternoon. Bit breezy, but... It's a beautiful day out there. Oh, after a bit of crappy weather after the last few days, the sun will help us just to ride a little bit. It'd be great if we dry it out a little bit. Girls eating their meal. Yeah, yep. I love their meal. It's a good mix. There he is. He's here to fix his little balls bag spreader. Hold up, hold up. I'm gonna braid him, braid him. Last row. Nice and clean, yep. Give them a nice teat spray, stop any bugs on the end of their teats. It's generally causing less tartus. Sweet. Let's get some uh, lotions in. 
Yeah, there's a little chewing, chewing. <laughs> Good boy, I know. Can't get in. <laughs> Alright, let's get these girls, bro. Over the nine jo joining the herd again. Hey, Dallas, back in the herd, darling. They are pulling out the power poles. Oh. Uh, she's busy with Tessa here at the moment, so I can't got it. Hey, get him, her. Chewy's a pain in the neck. Yep. And with that, <laughs> all done and dusted, just helping Tessa finish off. I only helped her with this this pen here. Old gigantic calf. Hey, hey. You didn't want to drink, you've had enough anyway. Look at you. And with that, all done and dusted. Oi, say, Tessa. Almost. Like and subscribe and see you in the morning. Perfect. Thank you.